Okay, let's be honest. Who here enjoys the process of decluttering? Anyone? So if it's a toss up between cuddling up in your favorite chair after you've put the kids to sleep with a glass of wine and Netflix, or decluttering a drawer, which one will you choose? No, seriously, let me know in the comments, which one would you choose? The truth is we procrastinate decluttering and maintaining a clutter-free home because we just don't wanna do it. So let's jump into five decluttering hacks for all of us who avoid decluttering like the plague, yet want to keep the appearance of a clutter-free home. I'm Margo and as a working mama, I'm always looking for simple and quick ways to keep my home clutter free. If you're a working mama and you want to successfully survive work life and mommyhood, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. So I live in a small city apartment where space is essentially non-existent. Closets? What closets? Do you mean the tiny narrow walkway with a pseudo door in the entryway? Yeah. I hear people talking about pantries and linen closets and I'm like, oh my God, what's that? <laughs> Must be nice. My pantry is a drawer. You ever try to shove a week's worth of like snacks and dry goodies in like one drawer? So the reason that I bring this up, for all of you who have small spaces, you can attest to clutter buildup happening incredibly fast. Our spaces have zero tolerance for clutter because it quickly becomes out of hand. There is essentially nowhere for the clutter to hide. Let's jump into hack number one for keeping your homes appearing clutter free. If you're not doing this already, you absolutely Absolutely should and it's the one in one out rule no way to ensure that clutter doesn't get out of hand than this magical rule essentially whenever you go shopping and you purchase an item so it could be a sweater it could be a mug it could be a picture frame or some type of decor once you get home you toss an old one so one for one this does not require a lot of work or willpower Simple as you are unpacking your bags and marveling at your new purchase, go ahead and say goodbye to the old mug you never drank from. Hack number two, fall in love with your junk drawer. Ever hear of a junk drawer? So your junk drawer is your BFF. Totally besties for life, not even kidding. If you want to maintain the look of a clutter-free home and you want to do it simple without exuding a lot of effort, a junk drawer is your friend. A lot of people seriously undervalue the use of a junk drawer. And then on the flip side of that, a lot of people have way too many junk drawers. So let me preface this by saying there can only be one. I am not promoting junk drawers all over the house because that's essentially clutter run amok. The junk drawer is a great place for those miscellaneous items you just don't know where to place. It's also a great drawer to clean out every so often, making room for more stuff. Hack number three, eliminate surface clutter. Surface clutter actually makes our homes appear more cluttered than they are. So if you are going to clean anything, if you're going to declutter anything, start with surface clutter. Surfaces are also magnetic for junk. And since this junk is out and about, it gives off the illusion that we hate decluttering. <laughs> so seriously, all jokes aside, I've worked with many clients whose homes were not overly cluttered, but rather items that were used were just inappropriately tossed on random surfaces, tables, countertops, and sometimes even the floor. If you want your home to appear and be clutter free, eliminate surface clutter. And here's how hack number four, the 60 second a day purge. Start purging with surface clutter. You probably all already know that I love my 60 second a day purge. So this hack is actually fantastic because who doesn't have 60 seconds? Even all of us folks who wish to cut corners and have our homes instantly look clutter free, you too have 60 seconds to dedicate to this. Grab a bin, a bag, a box, and walk around your space daily, swiping things off surfaces and shelves. Make your 60 second purge a daily practice. I actually will turn on a little salsa while I'm doing the 60 second purge and whimsy my way around my space. Cardio and decluttering all at once, I highly recommend it. Obviously choose music of your choice. For a complete list of daily habits to maintain a clutter-free home, you can check out this video here. And lastly, Organize, organize, and organize. If you think you're done organizing, organize some more. The reality is organization is important. If you want a clutter-free home and don't want to put in a lot of the work, then don't mess it up in the first place. And the best way to do this is by having every item in your space having a home to go to. So how do you test for this? Walk around your space and pay close attention to specific areas that just have a lot of stuff on it. 
if it has a lot of stuff, if it has a lot of clutter, that just means that a little organization is needed. As a pro tip, items should be where you use them. So for example, bathroom cleaning supplies should be kept in the bathroom, not in the kitchen. Invest in baskets, bins, containers, and use them wisely. This is not my way to encourage you to drop what you're doing and run to home goods. Although home goods right about now sounds like a great idea. They have so much holiday decor. Okay, tangent, tangent. <laughs> Focus, Margo. You don't need to go crazy with your organization, but be very mindful of specific areas that are prone to building clutter. I will leave a link to my favorite home organization products in the description below. And if you stuck with me all the way to the end, here's a little bonus tip for you. Always tidy up before you leave a room. You have a few seconds to spare to put the plate back where it belongs or drop your shoe onto the shoe rack even hang your coat on a hanger or hall tree instead of dumping it on the couch or the dining room table. If you hate decluttering and cleaning, investing the initial 10 seconds and actually putting something away is going to save you hours of cleanup in the future. So be proactive. If you're to adapt any habit, tidying up before you leave a space is a wonderful habit for maintaining a clutter-free space. For help on what to declutter in each and every room, you can grab my free Ultimate Mom's Decluttering Guide. I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. Keeping a clutter-free home doesn't have to take a lot of time and or effort. Adapting these simple tips can ensure that your home has less clutter and maintains effortless organization. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. Good luck on your decluttering journey. Thank you so much for watching and always remember to be good to yourselves.